South Africa promised us 10 days to remember, and as match 12 rolls in, we've already had memories aplenty to last a lifetime. Such beautiful scenes off court, and on it hasn't let us down either. But we are focusing on Pool C, the home of the host South Africa, who beat Wales on day one, while already Jamaica have put over 100 on Sri Lanka. So these fans expect, particularly the Jamaica fans, another day of big, big goals. Step up, goal defence, in line with me. <laughs> First on the board then, just 31 goals going into this off their 5,000th World Cup. They might have to eke them out. Yeah, I'm sure they'll hope to get 31 in this game. Wales. Barney drops side centre, Barney to distraction centre. Just sticky fingers this one, Wales. Got a bit loose, but it was a great drive initially into the circle from Yarrington. Roholt. Jamaica. Much better on their centre pass now. Absolutely. For the top spot. Wales still very much in this fight at the moment. 15 9 though becomes 16 9. I think they'd be happier if, if the gap wasn't double digits. <laughs> Just over a minute and a half of this first quarter. Over the one, two, three. Dehaney gets called for obstruction. And this time through. One of the changes is that they really worked on that multiple positions and that strength to roll on roll off court. Absolutely. You're accustomed to Jamaica having 10, 9 excellent players. And then you have some upcoming Jamaica. I mean, I've, I've maintained this is the best team I've ever seen. And I'm talking 15, not even 12. Continent Shimona Nelson didn't make the 12. I mean, it's just mind-blowing. So she does that job well, but she's able to lead and direct her players out in front of her. And they feed off that. They feed off her confidence. And they know that they can just put that ball in the air wow. and she'll be there to receive it. Offering again, and this time just plucks the fruit from the tree. Jamaica 51-23 up. It's really at a disadvantage to the goal defense. So Pamela, we've seen those changes made for Wales. I think they're all up on the bench alongside you because they are yet to get a goal in this quarter and we're halfway through. There's no speed greater than the hands of Shamira Sterling. No, I mean, there were like three unforced errors earlier, bad passes by Jamaica, and I think they need to be careful of those. You're preparing for the next stage. So you want to eliminate those unforced errors. You want to make sure that you're working on the small things so that when you get to the big game, those are not a factor. Taking on Australia and New Zealand, that's not going to work, and that's not going to get you where you want to go, which is the gold medal. It's easy to say, just play the simple stuff, because it has all got a little bit ratty. And I think for both team, Caroline, in this last quarter, yeah. <laughs> But as Simone was saying, Pamela, it's so important, actually, that you don't do that, because it can be easy to draw that into the next game. Oh, look at that. Just nice speed, precision from Wales. Good vision. Dehaney needs to stay a little closer. Wow. Off the centre pass, the first hand, Shamira Sterling. Boston at a goalkeeper and Golden Brothers. Love to see her at centre. Ah. Has, she got, has she got the lamps for that? <laughs> she's well, got, she's got, she wouldn't need to. <laughs> Didn't need to move with that wingspan. Yeah, what it did do, we saw Kadeem Corbin for Barbados just pulls her strength out of the other end and can change the whole rhythm for the team. Jamaica then 71, Wales 37. And enjoying the fight from this Welsh side in this final quarter. Under three and a half minutes left from it.
Wales. It finishes here. Jamaica 75, Wales 40.